Hey, it's Clay, and this was not a planned video, but it happened, so I thought, why not make a video on it? And uh, it's never happened to me before, uh, but doing research even before uh, I ever started, uh, you know, in ARs um, and determining what sort of ammunition I wanted to use, you know, I, I heard and read about and have seen on, you know, other videos that it does happen, um, and it's really just all kind of uh, physics at the end of the day, and that is brass for steel-cased ammo. So in this AR-15 right now, I have a steel casing stuck in the barrel and quick little background. I mean, I'm not going to go into like a, a physics lesson, but just based on the materials, steel expands, contracts differently than what brass does. And a little bit more context, um, a couple days ago, uh, myself and actually the camera guy and a couple other buddies, we were out shooting uh, the AR-15s. It was, you know, not scorching hot, but it was hot. And there were a lot of rounds being put through them um, in a, a pretty, rapid fashion we weren't doing mag dumps or anything but uh you know the, the barrels were definitely getting hot it was already hot out obviously the guns are black so they're absorbing that much more heat um, and i pulled the trigger on one and it went bang uh, but nothing ejected and this is what the result of it was so you just got a view of it and luckily uh, getting it dislodged is not rocket science or anything like that so all that will be needed is a rifle rod here. I got this online for, I don't know, like six or seven bucks. And then a hammer. And we're just gonna, you know, put the rifle rod down the barrel and dislodge it. So let's do that right now. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around like this. So there's a round and you can see got some pry marks on it. That's from uh, one of our buddies tried to get it out with a screwdriver and that didn't happen. So you can see they're, they're lodged in there pretty good, uh, but by no means, I don't know if you could tell in the video, it's not like I was you know, swinging the hammer as hard as I could, um, like you're at one of those carnival games or anything, uh, but just lightly tapped it a couple of times and it came right out. So as far as I'm concerned, my new policy is I'm just gonna carry this around in my rifle case now along with the hammer, just in case it happens. Cause at the end of the day, uh, and I realize there's a whole big debate out there, brass versus steel, but the cost savings of steel over the lifetime of the gun, I'll gladly have little hassle here and there of needing to dislodge things just because to me, saving hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars over the life of the gun uh, is well worth it. So that is how you take care of it. Again, very straightforward, just some sort of rifle rod that'll fit in the barrel, a hammer, and then you just gotta gently tap it a few times. And as you saw, it hopped right out. So hopefully you found this video helpful.